Hey, 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 Aries, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Aries, Knight of Wands. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This won't resonate with everybody. King of Wands. But hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Right down below there, Aries. If you would, before you leave, Three of Pentacles. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. Oh, the tower. That's okay, Aries. There's a lot of tower moments coming for all of the peeps, so no worries. Towers are good because towers just demolish everything so you can rebuild, right? That authentic you. You get a fresh start. It's almost like getting a second chance, right? So we have the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Tower. Whatever this tower is, I'm feeling like it's a good thing because it's almost like it puts a fire under your ass to get you going. It's like you're off and running. Because I do feel you are the king of wands and the knight of wands here. This could have to do with work. Something comes from out of the blue. Perhaps you get a job offer. Whatever this offer is, Aries, it's very creative. I'm going to start with the tower. Tell me about the tower. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. The link to my Etsy shop is there. Ooh, three of swords. Let me get a couple more before I say anything. Seven of wands. The Queen of Wands. Very interesting. I feel like Aries, this tower is like a gift from the universe, from healing something. Now, this healing doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a romantic relationship. It could be healing something from childhood. The Seven of Wands is sort of defensive, right? Or even setting boundaries, but getting more defensiveness here. And I feel like you're looking at this, you healed this, and you cleared up space, energetically speaking, for a divine counterpart, the Queen of Wands. Ooh, that was just sticking out. The Four of Wands, this may be a twin. You'll know. I just like to mention the cards that come out. So this is also stability now i am feeling this queen of wands whoever he she may be it's just feminine energy here aries this could also be connected with work so what i'm feeling is when you clear up the space energetically and you know what i'm talking about for whoever this is resonating with if it doesn't resonate just doesn't go check your rising sign your venus sign um, moon sign, yada, yada. So this queen of wands, I feel would be the one coming in to make you an offer. I don't, I feel you're going to feel a connection immediately, but I do feel that it's going to start off as work slash friend relationship, because I do see that you're working with this person. Like you're you're on some sort of team. All right. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is this here? I feel it brings out your childlike spirit because, because of the creativeness of this offer here. Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is so emotionally fulfilling. Aries, it's like just what you've been looking for. And you've been wondering where this, you know, when it was go going to happen, judgment. Yeah, the universe decided it's now because it's, it's gifting you something from healing this. Crazy but true. Mm -hmm. Can I have one more? Oh, two more. Justice and the Empress here.
I feel like this is, you're going to have major expansion because I see you as the empress. I mean, you're the emperor, but I feel like this is bringing out your feminine side or will be bringing out your feminine side, connecting to that intuition, connecting to that space. And this is going to balance out your arc field here. That's what I'm getting. Also a twin flame card of mine. So again, well, you'll know. But yeah, so you are just, you're about to blow. Aries, you're about to blow. I, oh, that didn't sound too good, but you know what I mean. So king of wands. No. Ah, hang on. This card's are flying today. Eight of pentacles, Aries. Yep. This is work. What was this clarifying? Okay. The king of wands. So you are excited to get to work with this queen of wands. Okay. So tell me more about the king of wands, which is you. This is you and the knight of wands. Five of wands, major transformation. All right. You're going to be meeting a lot of people because of this offer. Um, and it may stir something up inside of you. Let me see what it's stirring up because I do feel transformation is a result of it, but ooh, two of cups. So within this five, because what I'm seeing, I'm seeing like you're in a room full of people. And it's, it's almost like overwhelming, right? So I'm getting like internally solar plexus area that there's just like, not conflict, but, oh my God, this is so much at once. Where's my place? That's what I'm getting with the five of wands. Like, where's my place in all of this? You're trying to gain your balance here. And this Queen of Wands may be within the Five of Wands here, like one of these people, because you will be working together, like I said, on a team. So you, this may confuse you. Maybe you begin to start feeling something for this Queen of Wands then in a romantic way. And that's why I'm feeling you're not knowing what to do with it. Clarify this Five of Wands and Two of Cups. Now, you may also have somebody else that's interested in you. And that could be, whoops, within these five of wands. Page of swords. You're going to be researching these people, which isn't a bad idea, Aries. It's actually a good idea. That's smart. So you're going to be looking into these people and see who they are. What are they up to? What are these peeps all about? You want to know. You're going to feel more confident in knowing, I feel. And by the way, Aries, if this doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. I get so many comments. Well, not so many, but sometimes comments like, no, that's not my story. Or, no, I didn't. Like, like I did something here within the reading. And I'm telling you, no, you didn't. No, this is not a personal reading, guys. It's not a personal reading. And... I, you just get sick of saying it as a reader. And sometimes you have to realize, like when I was watching tarot card readings, oh God, I started it in 2012. That's all I did was watch tarot card readings. And you would watch a tarot card reader and sometimes watch them for say three, four months. And then they start to not resonate. It's almost like there's a group of people that it resonates with and then when it's not resonating anymore you you go to another tarot card reader and then you may come back to that tarot card reader um that's what happened to me anyway so if it's not resonating my point is aries <laughs> go to another tarot card reader there's so many great ones out there okay and then just come back and check in to see if it resonates the you know whenever all right, so the three of pentacles, the queen of cups, you are going to so love what you're doing here because it's connecting you more with your feminine side. 
And I feel like you're kind of getting comfortable in that. You like that. You like that. I feel like this is what you need, Aries, to balance out. I, I mean, that is a healthy ass emperor. An emperor who is strong in that masculine and feminine energy is a powerful ass emperor. Powerful. The lovers, you may have a choice between two people. I told you there's a couple of people of this five of wands, okay? And this is unexpected. I do feel that's unexpected. That could also be the other tower side to it. You may need to move, but if you don't, this is going to begin a new cycle for you. I really love this for you, Aries. So, all right, I'm curious. How does this queen of wands feel about Aries? The fool. They want to take a chance with you. I don't think they're going to say anything at first because of the professional side of things. Um, but I do feel that they're, they're not going to hold back for too long. This person is confident and very sure of themselves. Magician. They want to manifest something with you. So if you're wondering, okay, it's not even only this Queen of Wands that's interested. It's somebody else. So if you're not jiving with the Queen of Wands, which I think you will, um... You're going to have plenty to choose from if that's your thing, if that's what you're interested in, if you're not already with somebody. I don't know. All right. So what is your advice for Aries? This is awesome. Nine of Pentacles. Know your worth. Stand in your power. Okay. Be you. You are independent. You are autonomous. Even though this is a Virgo card, this is very abundant. This is, you know where to plant those seeds, right? And especially with this work offer, it's getting you in touch with that feminine energy. Oh my gosh, this is going to take you to a whole new level. I'm telling you, you think you know where to plant seeds now because you're so good at manifesting. Wait till you get in touch with that feminine side even deeper, right? Your garden will be so fruitful. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. All right, so Aries, let's get an advice card here. Stuck. You may be stuck because you are overly attached to a method or piece. So when you get this offer, if you're feeling stuck, see, I don't, I don't see you feeling stuck. Maybe this is referring to this love situation Maybe if you are looking for love, you expect it to go a certain way and it has to go a certain way. You got to be open to the ways in which love will arrive, right? If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Just got to be open to it. All right. One more. Oh, two more. Capable. You can deal successfully with whatever challenges and circumstances arise. Shoot at. Yes, you can. Aries. Enchantment. Oh, I love this card. We are enchanted when the muses sing the art spirit into us. And this is exactly what's happening to you with this offer, Aries. This is that connection, okay, to that feminine energy. You're tapping in. And this is going to skyrocket your energy. It's going to expand your auric field, which is going to increase your manifestations. This is awesome. All right, Aries, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys. And hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Also, subscribe to my new channel, Nature Speaks 333, where I channel nature on a daily basis for the collective. You have a good one, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste, Aries.